scruffs tonight. I've been out doing stuff in the garden and I just couldn't be bothered to get changed because I'm at home and that's fine. Um, right guys, we've got a salmon dish this evening. So I've gone with um, four fillets of salmon, four fillets of salmon, one nice ciabatta bread which I'm going to cut down through the middle and then cut down through the middle again. So we're going to give ourselves a nice base. Right, We're going to crisp that up in my pan with a little bit of garlic oil, a little bit of coriander and a little bit of, and a little bit of garlic. Um, Hannah's not going to have any uh, bread, she's avoiding the bread for a minute, avoiding the wheat um, because actually it plays up with her allergies and her allergies have been really bad so if that's something you didn't know um, or didn't know should I say uh, that um, yeah, wheat can really play up with your allergies also um, using local honey is also really good um, or hay fever and things like that uh, because of the local pollen um, anyway, I've got a track uh, so yes, salmon ciabatta bread and then I'm going to make up a really nice tomato sauce um, similar to like, the ones that we've done for chilies or um, yeah, in fact if you left this one on for a long time you could really like a, make a nice um, pizza based sauce with this one. So we're going to go with um, tin tomatoes, uh, one onion, some chilli, some of our leftover garlic and I've got a little bit of leftover tapenade so that's going to add a little bit of flavour to it that's all going to go in that pot. Then what we're going to do is pop that all over the top so we're going to get our ciabatta, we're going to place our salmon on top of that we're going to um, put some of that tomato sauce on top of that and then mozzarella still in the fridge and I'll pull out in a minute. We're going to finish it with mozzarella underneath the grill. Lovely jumpy. Okay, first thing to us then. Let's get our ciabatta frying. So I'm going to use some garlic oil. I'm going to put some garlic oil in the pan and also on the bread. So not loads, but I just want to cover the bottom of the pan and get that hot. Okay, so let's get that one on. Uh, ovens on, guys. If you're following or if you're watching this back, get your ovens on. I've gone for a nice low 120. I don't particularly want to cook the ciabatta um, a great deal more than what I do in here. So I'm going to crisp up the base, but I just want to keep it warm whilst we're then getting this salmon all cooked off. I'm going to try and do, unless the bread makes a bit of a mess of my um, pan, I'm going to try and do everything in the same pan so we can kind of um, reduce dishes and whatnot. Let's try and keep it all nice and steady. Right, let's get the ciabatta around. This ciabatta is a ciabatta with calamata or olives, alright? I don't know if I pronounced that correct. Some Greek person will probably tell me now that I haven't. Okay, so what I'm going to do, down in half. Okay, now down in half again. So down the other way. Beautiful. So we've got two nice bits of ciabatta. So we're going to have a spare piece left over tonight. Oh, I can even knock up a bit of oil and oil and balsamic for dipping. The kids like their uh, kids like their bread. Okay. Yes, perfect. Right, so what I'm gonna do next, get that olive oil again. That, so I've got the garlic olive oil. You can just use normal olive oil if you like. Okay, let's just get that drizzled all over there. Can you hear me coming? Out your name. Okay. Then we're going to go some garlic. So, two cloves of garlic, guys. One clove is going to be for our sauce. So, I'm going to keep that one for our sauce. These two little baby ones are useless. Let's throw some more. They can go somewhere else. Okay, let's take the, let's, let's take the root off the garlic. Let's pop it. Get that skin off. Some nice, some nice thin sliver of the garlic. And pop that on into a bunch in the middle. Okay, I'm just going to go through that. Doesn't need to be chopped up really small, guys. Just check my oil over there, make sure it's not smoking. Okay, I'm just going to sprinkle that. Evenly into the bread. The ciabatta has got some nice holes that so kind of sits in those holes as well. You know, it might fall out in a minute when we place it face down into the uh, into the pan. But what we can do is we can scrape it up with a ladle, make sure it goes back on or back into those before we um, before we pop it in the oven. Okay, so I've got some coriander, of course. It's going to give us our nice bit of green. Pull that around. Okay, only a small bunch. Use your nails. 
really nice and fine. So as fine as you can get that coriander. Right, if you can't get it as fine as that on your first go, all you do is so I've just chopped it one way, turn your board or turn, turn your body position, okay, and then just go down through the other way. And that will just chop it again. And then if you need to do it again, all you simply do is go the other way. Okay, so you're just constantly going back and forth across it, okay? However, I'm happy with that. So let's spread that again evenly. That should all stick in a minute. Okay, lovely. So, oil, let's get that moving around. Lovely, it's starting to go a little bit crazy. Look, some of those dry bits of garlic is starting to smell. Okay, so all we're going to do is tip it and then tip it and then try to keep as much of that. Okay, I'm just going to do two because I'm just struggling to get the third one in. That's fine. So, we'll just scrape. Okay, so we'll just pop that one to one side. We'll pop that one in there in a minute. So, I'm just frying them. Face down, right, so the, the kind of um, the flavour side down. Right, I don't need to do any from that ball because it's only been kind of vegetables on it. So we'll pop that to one side. We'll do the zero of that one. Like I said, we could toast it off and make some nice uh, little bit of olive oil, a little bit of um, balsamic. And we could just chuck that into like little uh, soldiers, almost like you would dip an egg. And you could dip it into that it's balsamic, that'd be really nice. So I'm just going to let that crisp up. Let's turn it up a little bit, let's get that. Popping away. All right, let's now have a look. We're going to go. We're going to get our salmon on next. Right, and then once our, whilst our salmon's cooking, skin side down. Then we'll start with our sauce. Cool, cool. So oven's on at 120. If you miss that, right. So I've just got a nice big pan on here. I'm going to pop these bits of bread in the oven in a second. Let's, Save a bit of time, let's get our salmon open at least. Cool, cool. So four bits of salmon, four people eating. It's just got the crisp up, I can see. What we could do then, whilst that's doing its thing, we could just Season our salmon. Salt and salmon. A bit of Himalayan pink rock salt. Okay, that's just starting up. I can smell that now. Just starting to catch. So let's take that off. Okay, turn that over. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Nice little bit of brown. That's what you're looking for. I right, don't want to go much further than that. Just want to get that nice bit of colour. And it, it's the um, it's the garlic that I can smell catching. Nothing else, it's not the bread, it's the garlic just starting to go, so that's perfect. I don't want to go any further than that. So as soon as you could start smelling that, you know, you know that, that garlic starting to go, that's when it needs to come out. Right, because if you keep lifting it up and turning it over, you're going to lose all your lovely topping. You can see how I've kept most of that coriander and that garlic on the top of there. Right, whilst that second pool, that third piece, sorry, is doing it. Don't need to do much with this board, guys. You know, if you're a bit anal or OCD, you could uh, clean it off. Down in, down in half, take the skin off. It's like deja vu with this bit, isn't it? Take that end off the onion. Okay. Up the okay, little fingers, where the tip of the knife. Okay, and let's take do the same with the other one, take the skin off that one. We've got a bit of Fleetwood Mac playing tonight. Do the fingers with the other one. Okay, cool. So let's go nice, nice fine dice. Cool. Let's have a little look at that one. Yeah, it needs a little bit longer. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit though. It needs a little bit longer on that one. Not quite done all the way around. Okay, so nice fine dice on the onion. Yeah, use all of it, use as much of it as you can. Oh, do, 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 do. Okay, 
And this sauce that we're going to make, guys, is really versatile for loads and loads of things. Bolognese, pizza topping. What you do with a pizza topping is just add a little bit of tomato puree to it and cook it out a little bit longer to really thicken it up. Um, but any sort of tomato based pasta sauce, this is just a really simple, easy one. Okay, lovely. Let's get that one in. Okay, so we're going to take that one now there into the oven. Okay, let's go with a little bit more oil, nice and coconut oil now into this one. And we're going to go skin side down. Like I said, we're going to try and keep it all within that one pan. We're going to need another pan in a minute for the um, tomato sauce, but let's keep all the messy work going on in that. So I've added a little bit of coconut oil to what was that garlic olive oil. Let's move that about. Okay, so that's all nice and moved around. Let's go skin side down. Four bits of salmon. Turn that down a little bit. Okay. Let's go for a walk. Walk a mile. Get that oil back. Not so much as that. A bit of oil into that one. And ah, let's go there. Get that up to about an eight side, so medium high. Okay, as soon as, that, as soon as that has come up to a melting point, so even go there, let's get that out of the way. We'll chop up some basil, we'll get that in there, we'll season it with some salt, we'll chop up some chilli, chop up some garlic, we'll get that all in the pan, and then we'll get the rest of that um, tapana that's left over. Yeah, so remember the pump from the other night, that is olive, sun dried tomatoes, basil, chilli, balsamic, they're all flavours that will complement this dish. Good. Any questions so far? No questions. Oh. Lots of people watching, but no questions. Because I answer them all as I go, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Did anyone join um, legs and shoulders this morning? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Did Lewis? He's on here. Yeah. Thought I heard yeah, you he mention his name have, earlier. Yeah, he might have watched it. <laughs> Did he do it? That's the question. <laughs> We've got some regulars, we'd love to see you. Some regulars, bit, bit of a mix. Natalie, Natalie Payne, Neil Madiver, yeah. Pip, Steph Rogers. Natalie Payne's just done the um, last song of this, actually, with the warm potato sauce. Yeah, that's all right. Becky Cole, Just Cherry, Helen Hooper, Sarah Jean, Gemma Faulkner, Lisa Gowing, Chris Carlin, Lauren Wilson. Cool, cool. Right, onion going in, one whole onion. Any of that leftover coriander, get that in there as well, it's not going to make any difference. Good, right, so, onion frying off, I'm going to season that onion. Good salt, stop it from burning. Okay, chili and garlic. Okay, okay, okay. I'm only going to do half this chilli, guys. Kids are going to eat this as well, and that's quite a large chilli and it's a uh, finger chilli. So they are quite hot, so I'm only going to do half of it. However, I want you to give a half of it. Lucky how that. It's just the norm. Just the norm. When I was younger, before I um, knew too much about cooking, everything used to have cayenne pepper in it. My mum will tell you, there was never any cayenne pepper left at home. I used to go to the shop and buy my own cayenne pepper. <laughs> cayenne pepper and sugar. It's a very bad habit of putting lots and lots of sugar on cereal. Okay, so let's go for the... Uh, Is that why you don't eat cereal anymore? Let's try not to, yeah. True. Do you want some cereal with your sugar? Okay, ready? Garlic, nice small slice. Use that nail. 
Mr. Ivywood. It's the last hit session of the week tomorrow with the children. Brody's been practicing today, I don't to come over him. I've come over, I went out for a bike ride, I had a few uh, chores to run and rather than taking the, a vehicle out, I decided to do it with a backpack and a bike. And uh, come home, Brody's running circles around the garden, doing burpees and sit-ups. And squats. And squats. And then we opened the back gate for him and timed him to run around the, uh, the whole block, <laughs> which we um, worked out is about 600 metres. And he did it in one minute, 47 seconds. <laughs> so that was pretty, pretty good. He did collapse in a heap when he got back, but yeah. There we go. Let's see if he's got the same enthusiasm tomorrow morning. He still doesn't know which left, left, uh, leg is left and right, but... What's that, mate? Talking about you, buddy, that's all. Olivia, on the other hand, she actually been out of her bedroom all day? Only for food. Only for food, okay. Fair enough. Right, okay. Chili and garlic, going in, joining the onion. Chili and garlic going in, lovely, lovely. Uh, I don't know if, um, I don't, Sharon watches the sessions in the morning, but I don't think she watches the uh, training, but happy birthday Sharon, if you do ever watch this one back, and happy birthday to um, prep regular Jack Bellingham as well, happy birthday mate, uh, good, really nice, um, really good post you put up this morning, Jack's birthday this morning, he was still out this morning at 6 o'clock doing his, um, doing his sprint work, no excuses, just do his birthday, I love it, great show. Okay, let's have a look over here. So, skin side down with the salmon, let's have a little flippy flippy. Beautiful, so we've got a nice little bit of crisping on the uh, salmon. So we're going to turn it the other side down now, the side that we season. You can see how it's picked up some of those bits that we put on the bread. That's why we kept it at the same time, to pick up those flavours. Okay, what we've got next then, just move that around again. I really want that onion to soften up before we go in with the tinned tomatoes. Okay, cool. We're not far off, guys. We're about... Five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. So tinned tomatoes going in. So we're just going to do that with that and just really reduce it down. We're going to work it at that same heat and really reduce it down. Okay, this little basil that we had left over, so let's just get that used up. That will wilt away into the dish and just give us a nice flavour. Good. Okay, so I'll use this time now then, whilst the salmon's continuing to cook. Um, the bread is in the oven. Our sauce is just kind of reducing. And we just took this little period now to have a little clean up, and then we'll get the mozzarella ready. Uh, and then we'll change that from oven and we'll change it to grill. Right, unless you have a separate grill. Because then obviously we want to we want to put the um, salmon on top of the tomato sauce, pop it underneath the oven. What plate would you like? What plate would I like? I'll tell you what, Hannah, you choose what plate you think is the best for this dish. One of your old favourites, although you're not having the bread tonight. Because that's just the tapenade I'm popping in there, guys. That was left over. Yeah, I keep everything. Look, it's a, it's, a it's a tablespoon, right? But I just hate chucking food away. So a tablespoon for me. Um, in fact, I say a tablespoon. Hannah's had to use the tapenade um, with uh, a healthy salad for lunch that she's done the last couple of days. So if there's any other time you think you can save something back, do so. Don't chuck it away. I think my mother taught me that. Shopping boards up, clean your space up, your workspace. There's a question from Natalie Payne. Go for it, Nat. 
What is tapenade? What is tapenade? Uh, so, um, that was a dish we did Tuesday. Tuesday this week, Nat. So if you have a look back through um, the DB Fitness and Nutrition page, we um, we save all the, after the lives, we save them all to the page. So they're available there for you to have a look at. Um, but in short, to answer your question, it is olives, sun-dried tomatoes, uh, this is my tapenade by the way, olives, sun-dried tomatoes, basil, and... Lime? No. And no. <laughs> right Sorry, that. that was the salsa, wasn't it? Uh, and a little bit of chilli I put in mine as well. Right, um, there's lots of different methods and, and ways of tapping up. Generally, the base is olives. Yeah, that is that is a tapping up. And even if you don't like olives, I said this the other night. Try a tapping up because a lot of people that don't like olives like a tapping up. It's just a, a certain way that it's been done and mixed up. You're not kind of. It's a very um. It's like almost into a paste, so you wouldn't think you're not really eating the consistency of of an olive as such. Okay, let's wipe that board down, let's wipe that knife down, and we're going to get our cheese out. Okay, so this, this tonight, not the, not the healthiest dish in the world, um, as far as the fact that you're cooking yourself and you know the effort that's going into it, the salmon is very good for you, the tomato sauce we've just made is very good for you, obviously the bread, um, if you're trying to avoid starchy carbs like that, um, which Hannah's going to do. We're going to pop some uh, vegetables on for her in a minute. Um, the, so the bread and the mozzarella, but again guys, it's about balance. So if you have a really good healthy day, breakfast and lunch, this isn't this isn't an unhealthy meal. It's just not, you know, the, the healthiest, yeah? Okay, let's have a look here then. That just turned off then when you wiped it. Okay, let's keep that back on. Bit sensitive, the old, uh, the old hop. Uh, right, by right today's society, it's a sensitive. Okay, so I've got rather than the mozzarella balls that I used the other night uh, for the meatballs. Okay, this evening I've got one big kind of mozzarella log, I suppose. Right, so let's pop it. Let's get rid of the fluids. Um, Emma Jane made a good note the other night about um, having any mozzarella left. Pop it in the fridge, guys. You can always reserve that fluid. Otherwise, just cover it in water. All right, just a little bit of water in a bowl. Pop it in the fridge. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go little rings of mozzarella. So this is the stuff that you'd use to make a caprese salad. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go for two slices per person. As it was. <laughs> yeah, good clean. Um, I've reduced a lot of the, um, the juice and whatnot out of it. Let's take Hannah's, let's take the salmon off. Let's put Hannah's vegetables on. They'll need to go right up. We're going to put that right onto a 12. Okay, let's take that off. Okay, so you can see how now we've got a really nice big sauce. About another 10, 15 minutes, that would be really good, maybe 10 minutes would be a really good sauce for a pizza topping, pizza base, you know, proper, um, you know, your proper homemade pizzas. Okay, let's pull our bread out, off our Dolby tea towel, there it is. So all we've done with that bread, let's just kept it nice and hot. I'm going to change that now over here from a uh, grill, sorry, from oven. You put the wrong one on. Right. Stay out of it, Caroline. I'll sort it out in a second. Right. We're going to go with then three bits of the bread with a piece of salmon on top of each. I struggle to do yours tonight because you're not having bread. I'm quite sure we're going to get around that. Let me work that out in a second. 
So I'm just peeling the skin off. The skin comes off really easy. Now, something that Larry mentioned to me the other day, another friend, um, chef of mine, is that I could potentially pan fry that a little bit longer, pop it in the oven, and really um, and leave that. That's actually a really good protein snack. Yeah, the skin. I'm not massively fond on it. Oh, fond of it, sorry. But it is a really good uh, protein snack that a lot of people do enjoy. So if that's something you want to do, you can pop that back through the oven, let that really crisp up, and it kind of stays as a kind of crisp. why you've got to reduce it guys because if you were to put that on when it's too loose it's just going to run off the top of the mozzarella it's like run off the top of the of the salmon and just be all in your pan and you ain't going to get to enjoy it um, right let's do this for hannah since we're going to have to clean that pan anyway so let's just pop that one straight down there right so that hannah's will go on the pan a little bit we've got to clean it anyway so it doesn't really matter so two nice big helpings of that one and then the last two bits of cheese. Okay, that grill should be up to heat now. That, is, that was still a little bit hot, so I'm gonna use my tea towel to pop that back through underneath the grill. Every day of the week. Mm -hmm. Don't you, babes? Name them, Brady. Name, name, name your football kits. Liverpool home, Liverpool away. This one. Two, another Liverpool one. Wait, I don't know. That's, that's a fake Liverpool one. I don't have Liverpool one. Oh, the old one. No, the, the crazy turquoise one. That's it away. Anyway, don't worry about it. Green. It's just, oh, just, yeah. just a little thing for you to say for people, but don't worry. So I'm going to serve up one dish, right, and then I'll serve up all the rest of them in it like I normally do. Cool, cool, cool. So I've just got a little bit of chilli there left over. I'm going to keep, the only thing I'm going to keep out of is a little bit of oil. Everything else I can pop away. So I've got a little bit of mozzarella left over, a little bit of bread left over. You can use all that up tomorrow. Don't throw it away. Use it. Guys, you can even put the bread out for the birds. Continue the steam, we'll continue to cook. Um, 
thing I did mention the other night, if you steam or cook any vegetables for too long, then you lose all the goodness in it. The best way you can consume vegetables is raw. You're going to get the most out of them in their raw state. Um, so steaming is a really good way. You don't need to go much more than a couple of minutes. Um, in fact, that asparagus I did the other night probably went just you know about 30 seconds to a minute over and the tips just started to go. Um, stir frying is another really, really good way. Um, but if you're boiling the shit out of your vegetables, guys, you're just going to lose loads of goodness from them. So the raw state you can keep them in, the better. Yes, it is going. Literally, we're just waiting for that mozzarella to melt. I don't know why my grill went out, but it's not going to be long. Tell you what, 7.34, so 60 more seconds we are going to serve. I'm just going to keep that oil. Um, in fact, am I going to keep that oil? I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep I'm going to get this oil out just to give it a little bit of colour. In fact, what we could do, here we go, I'll just get an oil. Get all fancy now, we fill some time. Okay, so what we did with the asparagus the other night, when we did the um, um, when we did the tapenade dish, and what Natty was asking about just a minute ago, see if it drizzles a bit better tonight. Oh, there you go, that's a little bit better than it was the other evening. Only a little bit though. Okay, lovely. So it's going to go a little bit of drizzle, and then what we'll do is we'll place our ciabatta on top of that in a minute. So just make it look fancy, just because we've got some time to burn. And that will that will complement the flavours that we've used in that dish anyway. Okay, so we've just got a nice little zigzag on the plate that balsamic glaze is really good for that. Yeah, just really making things look quite nice. Um, you can do use different basil oils and whatnot to dress your plate, but dressing the plate can look, you know, can really make the dish pop because otherwise sometimes they can look a little bit boring. salmon on top of a bit of ciabatta bread. There's no reason why you couldn't use, and I mentioned this in my thing earlier on, no reasons why you couldn't use um, different um, uh, meat or fish with that, right? Um, so you could use uh, a piece of chicken, you could go, or any, any sort of meat. I'll tell you what, a really nice um, thin piece of steak, maybe sliced, that would go really nice on top of that as well. Um, so yeah, really versatile dish. We've just gone with salmon this evening. We tend to eat fish a couple of times a week. Tend to eat a a red meat dish a week, and then um, and then a couple of white, a couple of white pieces of meat. All right, guys. Um, enjoy. I shall see you tomorrow morning for hipsters in the last one of the week, uh, and then we'll um, we'll look at what, about what we're going to do next week. Take it easy. Have a good night.